Welcome to my room. I know you're wondering about this confidence box. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say what this confidence box is. Are we ready? Are we ready to see it live? <gasps> Do you see the vision? I don't think I've ever showed you my room. So come on over. Wait, first, you know I got ADD and I get so excited when you guys are here. If you're new here, by the way, subscribe. No, that's not what I was gonna say. But if you wanna subscribe, I would love for you to subscribe and hang out with us, especially because I'm kicking out two videos a week. I've been consistent, right? But I am going on holiday, so I might drop <laughs> off. <laughs> All right. Today is the day. It is Saturday and I get a furniture delivery. So this is going to be fun. RH is here and they are going to deliver some chairs for our backyard, which I am pumped. So the doors are open. We're going to put the chairs in the back. Let's get this party started. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'm so obsessed with this painting, by the way. Not painting, I'm sorry, this art piece. So it is photography. But it is just such a vibe. I know I keep showing it to you, but I'm just happy I found it. All right, furniture delivery. Do you want to take a look at the stairs? Sir? Okay. Oh yeah, you got shoe booties, I love it. Thank you so much. Kids are in the pool. Look at Lena with her swim cap on. Rio, you see we got new chairs? Yeah. What do you think? Oh my goodness, look at you guys looking so cute. All right, I'm getting ready to go into our family pool, but I wanted to show you this new bathing suit that I got. It's from a company called Same, Same Los Angeles, I believe but it is like this neon green situation and you can kind of like tie it. It doesn't go very far, but you can push it up or push it down just a bit. And I think it is really like a sexy vibe. What are we thinking? And then it zips in the back. Hold on, I'm probably making you guys dizzy. All right, you see how it zips in the back, which is nice. And I think it's a swimsuit that can really like snatch your sides in and I'm like, Nevertheless, I'm off to my pool, darlings. Getting ready to do some swimming. I am so prepared. Rio has got my hat on. Rio, please don't get in the pool with that hat. It's really deep in this pool. Just want to make sure that we are equipped and prepared. Are we ready? We're going to jump in together. One, two, three. <laughs> it is deep. It's getting deep. Getting deep in here. Happy Sunday. Guess what? It is Sunday at home and I would love to lay out, but before I do a layout at home, I wanted to start cleaning up my closet just a bit because it is a hot mess. And I know it's going to take several days to do this, but in the meantime, I have this coat rack up here as well. I don't know where else to put my coat rack. It was somewhere else and we had to move it. But for now, I, I really wanna just move out all the jackets because it is still very much so summer. Um, I ordered some things to organize all of the bags. Like the way that the bags are just displayed is just a hot mess and it's driving me crazy. So I would like to reorganize all of the shelves, get rid of all of these boxes on the floor. Um, like literally, this is my life. Ugh, hold on. But, I mean, there are things in here that I am not wearing. Like, what are these? These champion sneakers are no. They're no because I never wear them. So if I'm never gonna wear them, maybe we should donate them. So I think that we really need to get a good closet clean out. Like, there are some things that I should just sell, like create a Depop. Like, these are super cute. These are Jimmy Choo but I never wear them either. Like if there's things that I never wear, maybe we should just let it go. Oh my God, who remembers these Givenchy boots? I wore these into the ground. I mean, they're even changing color, but guess what? I think it's time I let them go. Or should I keep them? What do I do? This is my problem. I have boxes for no reason. Uh-oh, here we go again. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, but I am a one-man show over here and I am trying to record and move things at the same time. You guys remember the fur? Oh, here goes the other one, by the way. 
same exact style, just a different color. The fact that I have Tangare in my closet, hmm. I think there are some things that we need to move. So anyway, I'm just gonna prop up my phone and do a little bit of a cleanup. I'm not gonna do too much today because I'm gonna split it up in different days, but I just wanna put some of the things that I wear often in the forefront so I can find them and they are not forgotten about. So let's clean up a little bit. Oh, I love these, these lip glow oils. Found lots of these from Dior. Some essential oil towelettes. Oh, you can clean your hands with these. You can also remove makeup from face, toss in lunchbox to clean little hands, inhale aroma and tuck. Oh, these are cool. Some great goodies from uh, Clay de Peau that we are definitely going to put in our cabinet. Here we are so far. So I got all of my sneakers out of the downstairs closet so we don't walk around the house with shoes on. So we usually take them off at the front. And then I ended up finding all of these in the closet. So I am going to try and arrange like a sneaker wall, a sandal wall, somewhere along these lines. But again, it's probably gonna take me a couple of days because I have ADD and then next thing you know, I'm gonna be finding all kinds of stuff. Let me try and figure this out. Much, much later. <sighs> In case you're wondering, I'm still going. <laughs> right now I'm trying to organize, like take everything out of here. I have stuff that is so old. I mean, get into this. First of all, what is this? Is this a church robe? I used to love this cape so much and I wore it with like really tiny or over the knee boots. Hold on. Look at this. So I wore it with like some over the knee boots or I can't really remember, but it was such a vibe. But now I kind of look at it and I'm like, is it a church robe? But I don't know. It gives me like twiggy vibes, mod, you know, maybe we shouldn't um, donate. Maybe we should just keep it because it might come back. And we all know I'm a hoarder. Look at those furs and look at those Gucci boots, right? This could be a vibe. Let me go look at it in the mirror. Guys, first of all, it has chocolate stains all over it. It's like a very pale looking color. I don't know about this one. Why not sleep on it? But let me show you what I've done so far. All right, so we're going through this. We're going through this whole section. I'm gonna redo this bottom. Um, my dad's sandals, dad's sneakers, regular sneakers, colorful bags, moving on to white, Fendi, um, any exotic type bag. Didn't finish that shelf up there because I couldn't reach it. And then like brown bags, have a Todd's bag in the back, Dior, some Chanel's, and then some more Chanel's. And then I'm trying to organize these bags over here. All in all, I do want to say I ordered hooks and things like that so I can organize this a little bit more. I just needed a starting point to just clean up. All of this stuff has got to go. And then let me show you what I am either going to sell or donate all of these bags. So we have things that I like literally have not worn in years. Like these Furla bags, um, Colt Gaia. I might keep this Longchamp bag because I, I do think that's pretty new. But um, they're just things like, like what is this Zara bag? Well, uh, when I bought it, I didn't know. I don't know, whatever. All right, let's finish cleaning up. All right, so much for cleaning my room. I told you that even if I would have recorded it, I would have gotten nowhere. I needed an extra day, and now I just messed it up, and it is a hot mess. So we went to the roof at Chateau de Silva, and we are all kind of hanging out in the pool, husband included, but um, this view, summer in the city. Looks like this. Inside the eyes. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my glass of wine and jump into the deep end of the pool Dad, and have a little fun. This has gotta be the most relaxing situation. First of all, all of us were sitting inside this luxury, luxurious pool that we got from Target. Um, we actually ordered two. Honey, did you order another one of these pools? For a total of three? Hello? Hello? Hun honey? Hello? 
Oh, you're holding your breath underneath the water. No, I have another one that's just black and white, black. Oh, I thought you ordered three mini dips. I ordered two of these. Uh oh. So the pool is from a company called Mini Dip. Super cute. My eyes, guys, ever since I had COVID, I talked about this briefly, but ever since I had COVID, my eyes for the long haul are like super sensitive to light. So um, I typically will bring my sunglasses out, but they're really bothering me right now. So I'm really tucking my eyes underneath my hat. Nevertheless, enjoying this Sunday. It's very rare that I don't have to work on a Sunday. So I wrote Allie this morning and I was like, sorry, I'm a little shaky. You know what, let me put, let me put this down so we can talk. So I wrote Allie this morning and I was like, girl, I just realized I have nothing to shoot today. Like not one thing. So all of the campaigns that I'm waiting for, they are, I haven't gotten the product yet, and I obviously cannot create content without the product. So, um, yeah, I had nothing to shoot. I could have shot some organic content, but to be honest with you, I do so much video. Cut. Don't wet me! I do so much organic, oh, this is so annoying. Hello! I decided to just take the day off. I had Saturday off yesterday, and then today I tried to tackle that closet, and I was like, oh, it's the perfect day. It was raining earlier. I was like, you know what, why don't I just clean my closet? The sun came out and I was like, uh-uh, guys, we need to go upstairs and make some memories. So here we are. We started out in the, um, not, we actually didn't go in the backyard today. We started out in my office area. Um, and then now we are on the top roof and it's almost about six o'clock. Oh, it's 5.30, it's 5.30. I was starving, I had some um, fresh, fresh spaghetti that my husband bought from um, Caputo's Italian Market. If you're in Brooklyn, highly recommend Caputo's on Court Street. They are so good, but they make this homemade pasta that's in the freezer and you have to cook it within two days. So he bought some of that and he bought some of their homemade sauce. So usually I can make that. It's a very easy dinner. And because the food is so homemade and so fresh, it just tastes delicious. So it ups my game in the cooking just a bit. So I made that and then I added some uh, mushrooms, some capers, some sauteed onions, some fresh garlic into the sauce and it was bomb. And then the kids are basic, basic palates. They want it like a, a butter sauce. So I use ghee, salt, some nutritional yeast. London wanted cheese and she likes capers. Rio likes nothing. Okay, I don't know how he's surviving because the kid doesn't eat. I'm like, are you okay? Anyway, that's about it. Um, just want to say, what up? Tomorrow we'll try and clean my closet again. I hope that works out. I wanted to do a video that was like literally dedicated to cleaning the closet. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea because I'm gonna get distracted and I'm gonna clean nothing. So I'm gonna finish drinking my wine, hang out with the fam. All right, peace out, Cub Scouts. Hello. What is that? <laughs> Welcome to my closet. The confidence box. <laughs> Why are you going through my stuff, May? All right, guys, my closet's looking a little bit different from when you saw it last time. There was so much stuff on the floor. <laughs> there's nothing on the floor now. Like, there's nothing on the floor. However, my lovely housekeepers <laughs> ended up coming and they helped me clean up. Um, I only organized this side. Everything else is unorganized. So I took out all of the bags and things that I, I want to sell and all the things that are like I just don't wear. Like this doesn't go here. This is not even mine. I have to give this back to the brand. I borrowed it. All the things that I reach for on a regular basis, I kind of just put them up here. We can kind of do like a little bag situation, like a bag. You know what? I have bags, but I don't have like hundreds of bags to do those kinds of videos. I could show you like what I got that's new in another video. Um, but I'm sure you can kind of pinpoint those. I know you're wondering about this confidence box. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and say what this confidence box is. London for uh, Mother's Day, she went to Michael's and she made me a confidence box. And she said to me, whenever I am not feeling very confident, I can go inside and pick out an affirmation. So she made me all these like different affirmations and she's like, close your eyes, go inside and pick one out. Uh, so this one says you are festive. <laughs> so in case 
That's so cute. Though. In case I'm feeling less festive about myself, let's see. This one says, you are the best mom ever. So I thought that this was such a sweet, sweet gift. Uh, I left it in my closet. And hence, I think this is something I'm going to keep forever because she's going to be mortified when she grows up <laughs> and she sees this. And I'm going to actually wrap it up and give it to her for her 21st birthday. And I'm going to tell her if she ever is lacking confidence. <laughs> She can go into the just look inside. Just look inside the confidence box. And you know what? I'll even add some more affirmation <laughs> to it. Okay, so let's get into this. This is stuff that I still need to go through. Okay? Like the box of Tangare is, <laughs> is definitely still here. So in case you guys are thirsty, let me pull up a Tangare. Just got this in from Dior. Something new. It is a bag. I know what it is. Um, they are coming out with this new bag, so they sent this over so I can shoot it, which I'm very pumped about because I love Dior. So I'm going to try my best to get through this sometime this week. Um, all of these sweaters, they're like sweaters on sweaters. Like There are sweaters behind the sweaters. Oh my God, I didn't even know. During the pandemic, the layer situation for me, I'm not... I'm not sure what I was thinking. I just kept buying sweaters and like <laughs> loungewear. L look at this. I mean, I'm sure I showed you guys this. Who needs this many pairs of sweatpants? Also, <laughs> if it's not here at the top, I don't wear it. It has to be up here from the top because I'm so scared that the whole thing is going to come down on me that I only go for the ones at the top. So I just don't even bother. These are like jackets that I need to go through, like things that I just would never wear. Sorry, I keep fixing this shirt. And it's just not staying the way it, it, I did like some crossover. The shirt doesn't really go like that. It's just a button down. The things that I did, this is, a, this is not an outfit. This is, hold on. This is a duster. It's something you put over your pajamas. <laughs> okay. We'll put that in the drawer. However, I did try to color coordinate. I did up to here. <laughs> I did up to here, and then this was stuff that was on the floor. Like, see, this this doesn't go here, right? This goes in the orange section. I tried to color coordinate. The ADD kicked in, and that's where we are. We still need to figure out the boot situation, like what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of. All right, so check it out. I got some new stuff for the closet. Let's move on. Check this out. Voila! What is it, you ask? Let me show you. Hold on. Let me just tighten that up just a bit. Follow me, come through, come through. Welcome to the department store where I am going to go ahead now and put that right on up there. And, oh, that did nothing. Get a nothing. smaller bag. Okay, let's get a smaller bag. So when I purchased these, I thought that they were smaller. I thought that they adjusted and dropped down to here so I can put them around this area. But I'm seeing that's not the case and that was a fail. Next time, maybe I should measure things. Are we ready? Are we ready to see it live? <gasps> Do you see the vision? Again, I am going to return the other box or I need to remove some of the shelves and because they are adjustable, the shelves, um, see there was supposed to be a shelf here. Because they are adjustable, I can kind of like take them out and do as I please. So I will do my best to try and make it work. My jewelry stuff didn't come in yet, so I'll show you that later. This is something I'm really excited about. This is for my belts. Okay, well, whose shirts are these? Oh, these are mine. <laughs> okay, so these are for my belts. Now, this is my belt situation now, which I'm over it. I'm over it, okay? Can't ever find any belt I'm looking for. So now, peep this, peep game. Boom, boom, did I just blow your mind? Boom. And these little things right here are magnetic. Even if you put the top on, it'll take the top off depending on where you want to go. Go ahead and put our next belt in there. You can even double up the belts, you know what I'm saying? Put more belts into one. Possibilities are endless. Yes. Organization is the name. Remember the big GG Gucci belts? I'm definitely going to sell this on the real real. Like I've never, it doesn't fit me. I bought this off white belt for fashion week. Wore it, never, like literally, <laughs> like literally didn't even wear it for fashion week. So I can put that into here as well. You know what these might be good for too? All kinds of like lipsticks or 
anything that you've done, hair ties, bobby pins. What is the deal with bobby pins? Like anytime you put a bobby pin down, you will never get it back. Like you will never get that bobby pin back. It's like they, they, they're like one and done. They just, they lose themselves somewhere. I don't, I don't know what happens to bobby pins. It drives me crazy. I'm constantly buying new bobby pins. So we have that. This situation is all perfume. By the time you come back here, this is going to be done. These are books I have never, ever read, ever. <laughs> some I bought thinking, you know, this was like some fictional story. This was in the New York Times bestseller. I started reading it and it just, it was about this sister and her other sister is a drug addict and it was just too much for me. It was, it was too, I felt bad for her and I had to stop reading it. It just didn't put me in the right mindset. When I opened this, I didn't know what the hell it was. I'm like, you ever forget what you buy sometimes? I was like, we got sunglasses. So I thought that they were going to be the sunglass holders, but that didn't make sense, right? Because the sunglasses would just fall right out. Mm -hmm. So then I realized that these are for clutch bags. For example, you put that in there. You can put these little tiny ones, all the clutch bags that I have up there. We could do this Goyard one just to kind of keep things organized and then we can kind of just push it through, right? Organization, organization. And I like to see my bags, you know? I like to manually look up and be like, oh yeah, there goes that bag. So as I get more bags, what I was thinking I was going to do was take Polaroid photos of them and then have like a little Polaroid section where I can kind of like see also write the serial numbers of each of them i follow this girl on youtube and she got robbed and i i felt so bad for her all her bags everything and people are like oh insurance insurance but insurance never actually gives you this stuff back like it just doesn't happen i was like if she had all the serial numbers at least she can contact like all the major like stores that you the resellers the real reels the fashion files and give them those serial numbers and be like hey you know, these were stolen, there's a police report, blah, blah, blah. I know I'm thinking a little bit too far, but honestly, I paid for everything in this closet with my own dime. This is the fruits of my labor. So I would like to know if someone robbed me, God forbid, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> so that's it. Um, I think we're gonna get out of here because I have some stuff to show you around the house. If you're new here, by the way, subscribe. No, that's not what I was gonna say, but if you wanna subscribe, I would love for you to subscribe and hang out with us. I'm going on vacation August 1st through August 6th, so that video won't be uploaded immediately, but let's say like two weeks after. But of course, follow on Instagram, Scout the City, so you can see stories, and it's gonna be a family vacation. We're going to the Caribbean, so it will be really nice. But what I was gonna say is, I don't think I've ever showed you my room, so come on over. Wait, first, you know I got ADD and I get so excited when you guys are here. This whole situation, I'm not sure if I showed it to you. May is behind here so we can see her. She's helping me film today. I look a mess. Hold up. <laughs> Let me look more presentable. It's like I never have on makeup, right? All right, so I got this from Portulanosa and I saw it and I had it installed and I fell in love with it. But the reason why is because all of my beauty products are always all over the place and they don't look organized and they're always just so messy that I felt like I can kind of just throw them behind here and turn the cabinet and how will they know? Like, how will you know? <laughs> no one would ever know what's behind here. Super cute, highly recommend it. And in case you're wondering, this is from CB2. It is a towel holder. Um, I don't think I needed that to be honest, <laughs> but it is here now, so we'll just keep it there. But come follow me, come, come, come. This closet is all mine. My husband does not live in this closet whatsoever. I cannot fit him in here. I actually cannot fit myself in here, which is embarrassing to say. And let me just show you something really quickly. These are things that we're donating. Uh, this is actually recycling. This is donation. This is the rest of my closet. I had to roll it out here just for a second. These are like winter things. <laughs> but this is my foyer of my closet. There is a mirror. A mirror, I'm trying to say that properly, a mirror, mirror, that goes here. And I was gonna do a very nice lighting. I just need to find something cute. I'm looking for something that's really inexpensive but looks good. So if you know of anything, drop it down below. But there's a big mirror that we bought months ago. I've asked my husband to put it up a million times. No, 
So now I have to hire a handyman. Let me show you where the mirror is. Oh my God. Come on in, come on in so you can see it. <laughs> this is the mirror that we bought months ago, okay? It's been behind another mirror, so. The mirror that used to be there. The, the other mirror that used to be there. All right, let's go ahead and put that in nicely. Welcome to my room. Now, this dresser we finally got. This is from Restoration Hardware. I've asked my husband a million times to put the television on the wall. It just does not seem to be getting there. It's been two years, three years now, and it just is like not getting on the wall. This dresser does not go here. This belongs to Rio. I don't know because it's a piece of baby furniture and we were kind of like in limbo about having another baby. We have not gotten rid of it, but we actually don't have space for it. So it's either going to go in storage or I'm going to sell it because it is almost brand new. But for the most part, this is supposed to go here. I was looking for a nice piece of art and maybe like a side table and a reading lamp just to put in this little nook. So that is almost done. My favorite, favorite part of this room is this outdoor space. Now. I'm looking for chairs, patio chairs, but everything that I saw does not come until next year, so I'm like, forget it. My husband did really well with these planters. I don't know where he got them from. Possibly Home Depot from the way they feel. <laughs> but they look good, so. And also, I'm gonna be very honest, when winter comes, I'm probably gonna have all of these trees in my office and it's gonna look like a jungle in there so they don't die. And then this is what it looks like coming off of our bedroom. We got some new chairs down here, which I'll show you. I'll, I'll take them off when we get down there. But. Welcome to my humble abode, you guys. Look at the chairs are here. I don't know if you can hear me over the waterfall. It's where I meditate. But anyway, every day, every night, my husband has OCD, so he covers all of the outdoor furniture. Plus it's been raining too, and we just got these chairs. Hints, I just found the, the tag still on them. We're real tacky around here. So it took two months to get these chairs. They literally, we ordered them, I wanna say April? And we had to get the cushion made to order. So hints like the little, the little border of them, which I really love. But we only got three because the space wasn't really big. So what I'm gonna do now, I wanted it to be more like a triangle. So don't mind the construction, it's New York. I'm gonna actually place this chair here. That way we can all like just triangle around the fireplace. Just wanted a really nice space to entertain. Just a quick backstory. We found this fireplace at the Restoration Hardware Outlet for like, I wanna say 50%, 60% off the regular price, which I was so happy about because I didn't wanna splurge that much on this. But so we ended up getting a really big deal. This piece, obviously goes to the propane tank so I might have to put a hole in the in the rug at the bottom and run this cord along the way so no one trips on it you know there's kids around here but for the most part I'm really loving how this area is turning out we also got this from restoration hardware outlet I have another one upstairs as well as you can see I was like in restoration hardware outlet every day when we first moved I was like look I grew up on Ikea furniture and the other stuff that we have before that was just real tech. But finally, when I got my own coin, I could only afford Ikea. So when we finally moved here, I was like, I don't care how long it takes us. We're just going to get really nice pieces, little by little. It doesn't have to rush. But um, I'm really happy with how things are turning out. I got this all from CB2. They don't work at all. Like, waste of money. So what my husband did is he went to Home Depot. And he got a tiki torch to put inside of it. And it really helps with the mosquitoes. So the oil lantern that they had that CB2 sold these for was a complete dud and I was really pissed off about it. But since my husband found these like $3.99 tiki torches that help the mosquitoes go away, now I love them. My only issue is he got obsessed and got too many balls and I'm like, why do we have all these balls? Like, what are, what are you doing with all of these balls? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some and I'm gonna put some upstairs, maybe put a couple, like we don't, I'm like, come on, we don't need all these balls. That's that for now. And then these cushions also were supposed to be on back order until September. They ended up coming in earlier. Really nice. Also got the cushions from Restoration Hardware. Oh, and then the planter. These planters are from Home Depot. This one, oh, this one's a really nice one. 
also a Home Depot find. That is nice. Right? Very cute. All right, and then last but not least, we also put all of these like shiny rocks. This was all dirt before. So we put these rocks, guess where we got those from? Home Depot. <laughs> So this area needs to be done. I don't know if you guys remember, but these chairs were from my office when I had an office. And so we finally hung them out here. We put cushions in them. We also have a rug, another one of these rugs. My husband is so obsessed with picking up the rug every time it rains, like he literally rolls it up. So that's why it's not here. But we're gonna put a trellis back here so there's greenery. These are heat lamps. So we'll just move the heat lamps, move the old toys. And I just wanted it to be like a really nice oasis. So this is still work in progress. Hopefully that will be done by end of summer. There's not really much to do. Some cute cushioning here. Eventually I would like to hide this in like a wooden plank situation. All right, and now we are on our way back upstairs towards the kids' room. Just some new art. I think I've showed this already. These are the Keith Herring skateboards that we got for the kids. This was in collaboration with the skate room. So we got these skateboards and I wanted the kids to be a little bit more cultured. No, I want the kids to like start going to museums and looking at art and doing those things. So we thought this would be a really fun thing for them. And what I loved about this collaboration with uh, Keith Herring's art is that a portion of the proceeds goes to charity and helping children. So that was really good for the kids to learn. Then we got this piece. Can you believe? I got a Basquiat. This is an original, an original, original Basquiat. Nah, I'm joking. If I got an original Basquiat, I would be so poor. Like my savings would be on that. But we got a print because obviously we couldn't get an original, but I thought it was something cute that the kids can look at. Also, he's a black artist, which I think is fantastic. And it's a Basquiat. Like, kids gotta learn about it. So we also got two other prints that are gonna go, um, or maybe they're Damien Hurst. I got some Damien Hurst prints that are going to go on this wall. And um, and then the kids floor is going to be done. I just need to change their rug back because my husband was, was messing around with this rug and I was like, it's a no for me. So the London's room you guys have seen before, I'm sure, just in case you haven't. Just a quick refresher because it is my favorite room. Oh, I think she has such a beautiful room. I don't know about all those stuffies. We don't really need all of those, but... Um, I think I've shared her room so many times. She has such a cute room. One day she was like, can we paint it a different color? I was like, are you joking? I had someone come in here with like a tiny brush and paint this on your wall and you want to paint it? You're going to be in this room until you're like 21 and you move out, okay? There's no way we're painting these walls again. Absolutely not. I think we've seen Rio's room before too. Rio's room is looking a little bit messy, but um, he had some other plants. Unfortunately, they died. They didn't make it. We didn't water them. And then next thing you know, they had like some sort of flies in them and he was getting annoyed by it. So we had to get rid of those. But I think his room is adorable. However, he is obsessed with race cars. So we had like a whole seating section area. It was like a bean bag and he has this cushion camping uh, situation for like a campfire. Look at this, it's so cute. It's like little rocks that you build and it has the wood and everything that you would need and then the fire, the fire to put on top. It's really cute and there's like marshmallows. That all kind of came from Crate and Barrel Kids. We got him a Hot Wheels set so he can stay happy up here. This is something that I got from restoration hardware outlet that I just, I saw it and I just loved it. Guess how much I got it for? Originally, I think this was like 600 bucks or something. I got it for $60. And then we got race car reel, this helmet to go with his car. He wasn't into it, not at all. He was like, oh cool, let me just get in the car. I was like, without the helmet? He was like, ugh. <laughs> But that's it. The house is definitely slowly coming together. We still need to do the downstairs playroom, my office, and I would love to redo the guest room because it's a little dark, but hey, there's a bed, there's a dresser, and there's a TV. I don't even know if that TV works, but it's playing the part, you know? So anyway, that's about it. Stay tuned if you wanna see more home content. And as usual, thank you for hanging out with me. Happy Wednesday, and if you think I'm a vibe, Please subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell. Is there anything else I'm missing? I'm like, what else should I tell you to do? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you on Saturday. Have a great week. Deuces.